Machinery.com. I was just uh, here today and I was going to talk to you a little bit about bandsaw, some basic maintenance, how to remove and replace a bandsaw blade uh, in a bandsaw. I'm going to use this Paramedic bandsaw for a model just so you can kind of see things that are available. Um, the main thing you're looking at, when you buy a bandsaw, probably the first thing you'll want to do is you're going to mark the length of the blade. And something that always, it's, it's always a problem, is guys, when they buy a bandsaw, they won't know how long the blade is. So what you'll do is, for example, this is a 93 and a half inch blade. I'll write 93 and a half inch on the inside of that crown so we know how long the blade is if I need to replace it. Um, several things you can do when you want to change the bandsaw blade. You'll want to remove this little keeper on the blade. There's also an insert plate that you take off. Um, then this one has the tension lever, so you can release the tension on this saw. Uh, if I can get this. Come on. There we go. There we go. So you release the tension to release the tension on the blade. And take this down. You're going to open both the top and the bottom doors so you can get the blade out. And then you're going to walk the blade off of the tire. I'm going to switch sides here. So you get the blade off of the tire. You're going to bring the blade around. One thing you'll want to do free the blade, bring the blade around. And it comes out the slot in the table. Oh, look, this has the fence on backwards. You know what? The, the fence is backwards on this one, so. Oh, wait, I think that's still the, way. still the way to get it out. Okay, there we go. We're free. So now I have the plate free. <laughs> I was thinking it was next to the table. Okay, same thing. Compress the blade so it's easy to transport it. That way you've got the blade out. Uh, things that you really want to do with a bandsaw before I put the blade back in is you want to keep your cast iron surfaces clean. A couple of nice ways to do it, they're real easy. Everybody has like WD-40 or some kind of a cleaner. If you want to just take, spray a little bit of your tabletop. I've got a few rust spots on this one. And a little bit like a scotch brite pad. And just clean up those rusty areas. And you're going to want to make sure, make sure that you remove those rust spots. You're going to want to dry it off. And after you're done cleaning it and letting it dry, all you're going to do is take a little bit of the spray wax coating. It's like a spray coating. I'll show it to you. It's called top coat. And by using this, you just spray this on your tabletop when it's dry. Just lay that on, let it sit for a few seconds. Then you're going to take a clean rag and you're just going to buff it off. And this actually will prevent, it'll slow down any rust on your tabletops. It'll keep it so your wood slides easily on the top. It does not attract sawdust, so you won't load sawdust up on the tabletop. Good maintenance, just a good basic maintenance on all your tools that have cast iron tops. Okay, go. Okay, I'm gonna put the blade back on this bandsaw, just so you can see how to do it. All you're doing is you've got the slot in the table. You're gonna bring the blade around. Okay. All the way around, line it up on the top and the bottom wheel. Make sure when you're putting this blade in that you go in and you're behind the brackets. Okay, so it's running just loose in place. And you're going to do the same thing here, top and bottom. into the bearings. Okay, once you've got it just roughly 
set up top and bottom. Rotate it slightly just so it rides on the tire. Raise this up a little bit. Test it so you know it's riding. So it's riding between the bearings, the top, above and below the, top, the table, and it's riding clear. And then you can increase your tension. This tension release lever makes it really easy to change your bandsaw blade. And there's, there we go. And there. Maybe. I think I missed it. There's always some kind of chicken adjustments on it. There we go. Get it back a little bit. You want it to ride on the center of the tire. You may want to take a picture just so that the blade rides about on the center of the tire. That tire has a slight crown on it, and the blade should ride on that crown. It should ride just about centered. And there's adjustments so you can make that make that adjustment. It's right a little bit high. Do, 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 do. There we go. Light tension up. See, that's so much easier <laughs> than having to do the knob. The crank on the knob took forever and ever and ever. This is a lot better way to go. So, now your blade's on the bandsaw, you're ready to go. Toolsandmachinery.com